So, question for you. Have you ever seen this guy? Or maybe you've seen one of the ads from Unison? Something tells me, if you clicked on this video, the answer to that question is probably yes. I've always been curious about MIDI chord packs, so I went ahead and bought both of these to check out with you today, and we're gonna see if these MIDI chord packs are actually any good. Now, today's video is not sponsored by Nico Catullus. It's not sponsored by Unison. We do have a video sponsor that I'll tell you about a little bit later, but let's check out these MIDI chord packs together, and I'm gonna give you the perspective of a working LA-based musician and music producer. Would I use these MIDI chord packs? Should you use these mini chord packs? Come with me, let's find out. All right, so first, I just gotta say, both of these mini chord packs are seemingly always on sale. Both websites have a lot of interesting similarities too. In any event, I paid $27 for each mini chord pack, and I found it very interesting how similar each of the purchasing experiences were. Now, the Unison mini chord pack is organized here by key, and major and relative minor are in one folder. So if we open C major, for example, uh, you get all of the corresponding diatonic triads. And they also have this nice MIDI file that is just all the triads. So if you want to bring that in, you just get all of your C major triads. They give you a bunch of extended chords. and you also get a bunch of individual extended chord voicings. They take it a step further with a bunch of borrowed chords and modal chords. Let's see what these are like. This is definitely useful stuff. You can essentially use these chords as building blocks and build infinite numbers of songs, infinite combinations of chords. And then if you go into progressions, you have diatonic progressions, minor and major. And then you have advanced progressions. With the MIDI chord pack, you're getting all of your triads, all of your extended chords, borrowed and modal chords. So you're getting a total of like 96 unique chord progressions. Unison have just done you the solid of transposing those MIDI files to each key. So a quick word from today's video sponsor, BeatStars. Thank you to BeatStars for sponsoring this segment of today's video. BeatStars is the world's number one marketplace to buy and sell beats. BeatStars allows music creators to sell their products worldwide from beats, loops, and sound kits to vocals, lyrics, graphic design, and video editing. Dozens of recent chart-topping songs were made on BeatStars or by BeatStar producers, including Old Town Road by Lil Nas X. BeatStars is not only great for producers who are looking to license and sell their beats and songs to other artists, but it's also a great place for artists who maybe don't write music or maybe don't produce to find music and beats to write to. BeatStars also offers other great services like music distribution. You get access to dozens of different streaming platforms. You get unlimited releases for only $19.99 a year. But BeatStars is free to use for beginners and viewers can get a free one month premium subscription to open their own music store using code Patrick. Let's get back to the video. All right, so these are all of the advanced minor progressions. This is the key of B minor. Let's just take a listen. These are great. For somebody like me, I find these progressions super useful. This is a great way to like add a foundation for a song, and then you can layer things like melodies and guitar and bass and drum beats on top of this. I think we should chop something up and do that right now. 
So there's two of these progressions that I really, really like, minor progression seven and minor progression five. Minor progression seven, I already like for our chorus. I'm just gonna double this, and then the first pass of the chords, I'm just gonna extend that fourth chord. And then for the verse section, I kinda just want something simple. I wanna base it around this first G major seven nine chord. But I wanna use some of the chords from this minor progression five as passing chords. And then right before the chorus, I don't even think I have to do anything too crazy. I can just reverse these two. So it's descending rather than ascending. Let's check that out. Beautiful, let's add some instruments. today's video do me a favor and hit the like button for me helps this video reach more people let's get back to it now the nico midi chord pack is also organized by key but when you open each folder nico has this organized by melodies chords more melodies and then the bonuses that you get with his package and again as far as i can tell this is all the same content just transposed out for each key Sound really nice. So that's dry. And then let's see what it, I think he has the same progression wet. Let's see what this, oh, I see. I see. So one has sustained, the other does not. It's nice that he gave you the option. These Neo Soul chord progressions that he wrote are awesome. I love these. So far from what I've heard, these are definitely my favorite chord progressions that he has in this pack. So I'm gonna grab one and I'm gonna start building a beat. Let's check this out. So for this one, I really like this R&B chords 22 progression and I really just like this as is. But I thought it might be cool to take these chords double them, and add an arpeggiator behind our piano chords. Let's check this out. And I want to do like a funky section, so I just took the chords and I chopped them up a little bit, just added a little bit of a bounce. So let's put it all together and add some instruments. Thank you. 
Man, for as similar as these two chord packs were in the beginning of the video, they kind of couldn't be more different when you actually get into the contents of each chord pack. I think the unison MIDI chord pack gives you a little bit more like foundational material. All of the individual chords are really useful. You can kind of have a building blocks approach to assembling a chord progression, and you also get a bunch of unique chord melodies as well. The Nico Catullus MIDI chord pack feels a little bit more like you're bringing Nico into your studio to have him play for you. And with his chord packs, you're getting a ton of different chord progressions, melodies on top of chord progressions, arpeggios, different rhythms. There's a lot of variety there. If you're a producer like me, but keys isn't necessarily your first instrument, you'll find this really useful. If you are a songwriter, lyricist, singer, and you're looking to like easily assemble some music to write your lyrics or write your songs over, this is great for you. But again, either way, I think at that discounted price, these are both worth checking out. I'll leave links to both of these in the description below if you want to go check them out. But that's going to do it for today's video, my friends. I'm Patrick. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.